guys, it is me, Lysimer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets LP Part 26. Alright, I've been pretty sick lately, so I haven't been uploading too much. I am, you know, feeling better now. It's been allergies. I have been dying from allergies um, the last couple of days. So if you hear, you know, sniffles or my voice or something being gross, that is why. I, I'm having terrible allergies right now. Um, so that is why. Anyways, it is Snowflake Day. It is also Bailey's birthday. She'll be becoming a teenager, which is... Uh, I am so excited for her to become a teenager. Um, and yeah, we're also having an emergency right now, which we can now hear from our home. How freaking cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to go respond to the emergency, even though it's Snowflake Day. And they're all still mourning because of Duke. It's pretty sad. I miss my baby, Duke. Um, but yeah, he's going to go... Respond to that fire as he is the fire chief and he now has, you know, his at-home firefighter fire truck. <laughs> I don't know how to put that. But yeah, this is the cool part uh, right here um, that we now can work from home. We need to improve the horsepower, which he can do that all the time now, which is awesome. He is now a stay-at-home dad kind of, which I like. But yeah, he's going to go respond to this emergency. This is what you get for being the fire chief. All right, and it's a large house fire. That really sucks. That really sucks because it's going to take us a little while. You know, it's snowflake day and here Andy is freaking putting out fires. All right, Andy, put out the fire. Come on, boy. He can do it. He can do it. And if not, you know what? Forget them. They can die. <laughs> but I'm going to try to help them out. Oh, it's actually, uh, why is Cruz here? Cruz is actually trapped in the room. I don't know if I want to save him. I don't know if I want to save him. But we actually need to visit Andrea because I'm pretty positive she should have had that baby by now. But, uh, yeah, Duke's, not Duke. <laughs> Andy's gonna go ahead and do that for, uh, a little while. But we're gonna go ahead and head home really quick and, um, go ahead and buy some hay. Hey! <laughs> We're going to go ahead and buy some hay for the horses, and we're going to get them a big thing of hay. A good big thing of hay. Can't wait for the winter season to be over, um, so our horses can, you know, really get the full horsey experience that they want. Where they have the open grass lane, not lanes, <laughs> the open grassland, and not this nasty winter ground. So sick of winter. You guys have no idea. So sick of it. Alright, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and um, go scatter some hay for them. It is very much needed. And I also asked you guys on Twitter, I'm like, should Andy and Amber have another baby? You guys in the comments, uh, let me know down below. I'm really not sure. I feel like I'm happy with, you know, just two kids. But, you know, I feel like there's always room for more. But at the same time, I'm like, I think having two kids is actually kind of nice, you know? It's not like they have a ton of them, so I don't know. But yeah, now the horses can actually come eat some hay. Feed them up really quickly. Alright. And like I was saying, it's actually Bailey's birthday and Snowflake Day. But you know what? Forget about Snowflake Day. It's all about Bailey today. But let's actually head back over to Duke not Duke, I keep calling him Duke, back over to Cody really quick, and uh, I don't know, I really feel like this fire is gonna take him forever, which is not fair, it's snowflake day, like yes, these people need to have a good snowflake day, So, but so doesn't Andy, you know what I mean, like Andy needs to get home to his family, but instead he's, he's saving other people's, <laughs> it's pretty sad, but he, he, this is the profession that we chose, so this is what we get, so uh, we're gonna go free the sims, and then head home and celebrate Bailey's birthday. Friggin' Cruz. He would, be, he would be the one stuck in here. That door wouldn't open for him. That's what you get for being ugly, Cruz. <laughs> I'm kidding. Open! There we go. Alright, convince... Convince him to run. Come break down this door. Definitely need to work on our athletic skill. Alright, convince her to run. We need to get home for 8 o'clock. Convince him to run. Where's the last one? 
Where's the last sim? Outside. It's Ava Fenderson. How many times have we freaking saved Ava Fenderson? I feel like we have saved her way too many times. All right. Awesome. We got our simoleons. We can head home now. We can head home just in time. It'll be about 7.20ish, I think. I'm just guessing here. 7.20ish, 7.30ish. Uh, when we get home. So, uh, perfect. Yep, it was about 7.30, 7.40 when we got home. So now let's go ahead and get a birthday cake. Just in time to celebrate our little girl's birthday with her dad home. All right. Blow out the candles, Miss Bailey Waters. Ew, we need to get rid of that high chair or at least clean it. That looks so freaking gross. Alrighty. Let's watch her come, a big girl. Oh, She's crying about Dookie. I miss him too. <laughs> I miss Mr. Duke. We'll eventually get another dog. I just don't want it to be too, too soon. You know what I mean? I, I would feel like we're replacing him. But yeah, let's go ahead and celebrate her birthday. Look, her dad's here to help celebrate. He missed your birth. <laughs> but he's here for your birthday. How uber exciting. Let's watch her grow on up. Yay. Woo! 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 Grow up! Bitch. All right, Bailey has reached her teen years due to indifferent study habits. Story of my life. Uh, you will not be able to choose Bailey's traits. She has developed the dramatic trait. All right. All right. Let's go change her appearance. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. Or she's going to get some cake. <laughs> Could change her appearance. Alrighty, so I went ahead and uh, changed Bailey's appearance off camera. Um, so it is pretty much, uh, you know, this really, really cute hair, really, really simple makeup, and her beautiful brown eyes. I love her. I think she's so cute. Very innocent looking. But I don't feel like she's, like, super innocent. But, you know, very innocent. And I wanted to give her minimal makeup because, you know, she's going to be my little country bumpkin who, you know, rides horses and is adorable. So, you know, you don't want too much makeup while you're doing all that good stuff. So there's my little country bumpkin in the making. I love her. She's so cute. So now we're going to go ahead and change her outfit. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up here. Plant outfit. And uh, now she has her new bedroom, which I might change her bed because the fact that Cruz and Andrea have woohooed in that bed, not a fan of that. I don't want Bailey sleeping in that bed. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to change the bed because that's just not okay. I, I would never do that to her. I feel like she knew she would cry herself to sleep every single night sleeping in that bed. So... I'm going to go ahead and change your outfits, and I'll be right back. Alright, so you guys just saw all of Bailey's outfits. I didn't want to go with complete tomboy, so, you know, some of her outfits do feature some cute little heels and pink colors and stuff. But, at the same time, it kind of has a very relaxed you know, look, and I really love her everyday outfit. Her everyday outfit is so cute. I did give her ripped jeans because I feel like the teenage, you know, clothing is definitely lacking. I feel like there should have been a stuff pack directly for toddlers, children, and teens, but that's just me. So I did give her some ripped jeans and a really cute little coral top and some Converse. Really, really simple. And I absolutely love all of her outfits. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head back into the game now. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, have everybody just relax and probably head to bed tonight. Oh, that's what we actually need to do. We need to get her a new bed because <laughs> cruise. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that really quick. I think I'm going to go ahead and get her nothing too, too expensive. 
Um, let's see. We will purchase her a who? Maybe this one right here. Yeah, we'll we'll do this one right here. Let's go ahead and get her wood done. All right, and her bedding is of course. Uh, some wonderful, I think it's a leopard print, I am pretty sure. Alright, that works. And I also want to change her compartment color. So which, which one is the compartment? Not that. I think it's this one down here. No, it's not. No. I'm so bad at this. This one right here. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, man. This one. Is it this one? Yep, it is. We'll make it just very white. Actually, a little bit off-white. Um, actually, let's make it blue to match her room. There we go. Cute. Very, very cute. I like it. Okay, so now Bailey has her own bed and everything. She's going to go ahead and go to sleepies. And Amber and Andy. Actually, you know what Andy can do? Instead of doing whatever he's doing he's mourning duke right now he's gonna come over here and improve the horsepower of his fire truck let's see what is this do oh, his job experience whatever whatever amber actually needs to come take care of cole when does he age up one day so his birthday is tomorrow um where is he oh he's in the snow that's that's great okay let's go ahead and uh put Cole to bed. Let's put little Coles to bed. And let's see, it is 1030, so let's see if we can find a unicorn. I don't think there is one out tonight, because there's a rainbow that glows. Uh, like a rainbow myst mystic shadow type thingy that glows uh, right there, right there. There is a unicorn out tonight. Ooh, all right. We're going to come here and actually uh, feed it some produce and uh, feed it a snack. Here it is. Aries horse. Aries horse? I don't know. I think it's Aries. Um, but yeah, uh, this is pretty much what happens. It's after 8 p.m. and I believe it ends at about 5 a.m., I think. You'll see this, like, mystic, you know rainbowy shadow kind of happening glowing above the unicorn and you can actually click on it and there should be a unicorn here i've shown it in a couple of my lps because they randomly come um but yeah this is pretty much what happens and you can actually if you befriend the unicorn you can invite it to be in your household and all of that good stuff um you can make your you know look at it it's making it's making like a tree right now that is freaking awesome they do have special powers, so I really do want one. Um, you know, I don't want three horses, though, so. That's, uh, that's something. But Meadow is 57 days old. She is going to pass away soon, so there's that. Uh, so we'll probably end up having Rose and the unicorn, and then we can have the mate. But, yeah, she should be here. She's driving her sloppy jalopy all the way over here. Alrighty, so let's come over here and befriend the horsey. And uh, hopefully, eventually come really good friends with it. If we get to know it good enough, you know, we'll be good. You are the best firefighter ever to walk the face of the universe. No, even better than that. Thanks for being so great. All right, <laughs> we're gonna whisper since we have mastered the jockey level we can actually whisper to it So we're gonna whisper it and rub its neck Well, come over here horse. Let me rub your neck and whisper in your ear She wants to watch the unicorn too She's like whispering to it. I want to take you home, little horsey. I want to take you home. <laughs> that horse is just sitting there taking it in.
This horse is like, leave me alone, woman. No, no, no. Come back. We're going to watch the horse. Well, the unicorn, not the horse. This other horse needs to go away, though. I don't know why this horse is thinking about getting arrested. They probably think we need to get arrested. Are you done watching the unicorn? All right, now go talk to the unicorn. She's like, oh, a unicorn. Yes, you've already touched it. Go over there. Our horses are like, that bitch is, is cheating on us. We are going to pet it. If it would stop being weird and pretty much glitching out, that'd be awesome. We're going to pet it, rub its neck, whisper to it again. Yes, little horsey. Yes, I love you. Little horsey. Little horsey. I just want to come friends with you, little horsey. Little horsey. <laughs> We're going to feed little horsey a treat. Little horsey. Oh, Meadow Waters just saw the ghost of Duke Waters. What? I don't see... I don't see a ghost of Duke. <gasps> there he is. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love this right here. We can command him to sit and command him to sit up. <gasps> oh, we can do tricks with him. Oh, we can still be friends with him. Andy, you know what? This was your best friend. Come over here and... uh Command him to sit up. Meadow could actually socialize with him. That's kind of creepy. Go socialize with the dead dog. Oh no, he's going back to his grave. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no, he's not. What, are, what is he doing? <gasps> oh, we can talk to him and give him a smoochie. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am so happy. I am so happy. We can pretty much... Oh, you guys. This is... All right, we're going to go ahead and just do a couple more affections with this horse right here. And then we're probably going to go ahead and head home. But let's come over here and watch Andy come play with the ghost of Duke. That is too awesome. That is too awesome. Give him a smoochie. I love how he floats around like that with his ass in the air. <laughs> he just doesn't care. He doesn't care. Let's get a picture. Let's go ahead and give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Oh! That's what you get. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We're making out with a ghost dog. Oh. Let's hug him as a ghost. Hug him, hug him again. I went too fast. Oh my goodness. He's better than Casper the friendly ghost. He's Duke. The friendly ghostly dog. Nothing gets better than that. He's better than Casper, guys. He is. Alright, let's feed him a treat and, uh, and uh, go ahead and call it a night. It's good seeing him. It, it's good. It's exactly what the family needed. Alright, Amber is really tired. Oh, she's actually, she's actually friends with the horse. Oh, oh, we're coming friends with the little horse now, are we? I think we have to be best friends with the horse to adopt it. Oh. Okay, so it's they do disappear at 5 a.m. So tomorrow we will definitely have to come back and, you know, try to get to know it a little bit more. Uh, we are friends now. and Now we're going to go on this unicorn craze and try to get this unicorn in our house. Meta was literally, like gonna die anytime now unless she's like duke and lives forever but we'll see um 
so yeah, that's the plan. We're going to get the unicorn and we're going to mate it with Rose and hopefully we get a unicorn baby horse. Uh, I think that would be awesome. But um, yeah, guys, I'm going to have Amber go ahead and head to bed now. I think, yeah, Andy needs to get some sleep as well. They all kind of uh ruined their night's sleep because of Duke and a unicorn. What an eventful night. Right, guys? Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys in the morning. The horses are just going to go ahead and eat. Cole's going to go ahead and be quiet. And I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, guys. So, Bailey is awake. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually show you guys. I engraved the... The... The grave, I guess. And I said, here lies the best friend anyone could ask for. So, yeah thought that was pretty cute but we're gonna go ahead and jump up on miss rose here and get bailey a little bit you know her first time ever really learning how to mount on a horse she's actually having a snow day today which is awesome a long day weekend it's pretty awesome um but yeah she's gonna go over there and mount on the horse and it will be her first time ever doing it so that is pretty exciting She's like, how do I do this? <laughs> Mom, she has no idea. Rose, go over there. Make this easier for Bailey. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. She actually needs to come up here and feed the squiddles. And uh, clean squiddle number two's terrarium. And then she's going to come down here and mount on the horse. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Everybody's really sad still. They have 13 hours until they are done with the morning. Um, I miss little Duke. I do. But it was pretty cool seeing his ghost. I think that was really awesome. All right. Now let's go mount up on Rose for the first time ever. You better let us too, Rose. I will seriously knock you out. Come on. Saddle her. In her everyday saddle. It's not that hard. Stop acting like you don't know what to do. Feed her a treat. Talk to her. You're gonna learn how to do this. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Brush her. And mount her. Come on. You'll eventually get it. I think, um, what the problem is, is her mom was an inquest, she has the equestrian, um, no, she doesn't. Does she? Yeah, she does. The equestrian, um, uh, skill, so she could almost automatically, you know, learn how to do it. I feel like we need to actually acknowledge her a little bit on, um, you know, horses and everything before she can actually mount on the horse, I'm guessing. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to try it one more time. And if that's the case, I will go ahead and go pick up an equestrian writing a book. Yeah. We're going to actually go pick one up from the bookstore really quickly. Um, oh, a formal dance is happening soon. It's at Monday at 6 p.m., which is actually pretty good. It means we have the whole weekend to find a date. Um, but... Let's go ahead and head to the bookstore and shop for books really quick. I'm thinking of also getting this one right here, Bailey, who just set a booby trap. <laughs> a uh, part-time job. I think it would be good for her. Yeah, get a nice little part-time job. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try to do that as well. I'm thinking the bookstore is actually the perfect place to get a part-time job with the totem pole right in front of it. So, right after that, she'll go ahead and get a part-time job here. Let's see, let's see. Equestrian, right here, writing, volume one. Now we're going to go get our part-time job. Wonderful. Go ahead and read this right now. We still have our mood enhancer potion as well. Awesome. So I think once we have a level one, we should be able to go ahead and uh, get up on the, uh, the horse. Stop being friends with Amber. Stop going through mood swing. Prank the school. We could probably do that. We could do that, definitely. Who likes school? Nobody. <laughs> Ow. 
That was weird. All right. Andy. Oh, Andy. He's at work right now. He's actually leaving. There's no fire, but there's three trapped sims. That actually makes no sense. Um, all right, let's see. No, oh, there is definitely a fire. Not a big one, but definitely a fire. So he's, oh, I'm about to, sorry about that. I'm like, my allergies are so bad right now. So if I sound stuffed up, I am so sorry. Um, yeah, I was tampering with my electronics when a static electricity caused a huge explosion. Okay, seriously, this is how I'm going to die. No joke. I have so many electronics in my room. No joke. This is how I'm going to die. I'm scared now. Will Andy Waters come to save me? No. Andy won't. I'll be the one person that he does kill. Knowing my luck. <laughs> Alright, well, this is boring, so... Andy, if you could hurry up, that would that'd just be awesome. Awesome! Go break down that door! Break that door down, Andy. Yes, he's getting better. He's getting a lot better, actually. Okay, cool. She just grasped the basics of writing, so now she can go ahead and head home. Okay. Where's the other Sims? Right here. Go break down that door. My game's acting weird right now. Go break down... That door and convince her to run. She looks like Daphne from Scooby-Doo. I don't get it. Why the, why the fuckums do I have to convince this him all the way out here? Under this, like, what are those called? Uh, under that, I don't know, that thing. I forget the name of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Why do I have to convince her to run? She should be able to run herself. All right, Andy, tell her to run. Get out of here. All right. Oh, well, Cole is not a happy camper right now. He is not a happy camper at all. Oh, look at his big sister coming over here. What a sweetie. What is wrong with him? He's hungry. He wants to be played with. Good job, Andy. Go ahead and head home now. Get away from all those peasants that clearly... Oh, and there's a cat dying right now. Don't don't even bother with it. Just go home. Just go home. All right. Now, Bailey. What am I doing? Bailey, Bailey. Now we're going to try to go ahead and mount ourselves on Rose. Just, you know, see her get up on Rose. Uh, get up on it. Uh, that's pretty much all I want to do right now. So let's try this again. Okay, we're not, we just saved this girl from death. We are not going on a date with you. I should have stole stuff from your house. No. Come on, guys. Mount on her. Come on. Stop making this difficult. Saddle her in her everyday saddle. What's up? Come on. Stop it. Stop. Why are you doing this to me, Rose? Oh my gosh. What the hell? Oh, oh! <gasps> I totally forgot about Cole's birthday. Oh my god. Did I forget? I'm pretty sure I forgot about his birthday before. Um, you know what? We're going to save that for the next part. I don't even think I can quit right now. I think I can, actually. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and quit the game right here, right now. In the next part, we're going to watch Cole grow up. We're going to try to mount on frickin' Rose. We're going to try to come friends with the horse, the unicorn, not the horse, and see if Meadow dies. Um, so, yeah. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.